breaking news out of Taiwan, where a powerful earthquake has collapsed buildings and caused a tsunami in southern Japan. This video right here is from Taipei, Taiwan. It shows the strong shaking. Uh, this earthquake magnitude 7.5, which is a major, major quake in the region. Uh, there are reports that people may be trapped in some of those collapsed buildings. We have seen video of landslides caused by this. This is some video from inside one building. You can see the force of the shaking here. Uh, thankfully, the person that took this video uh, is okay as uh, you know, some of his belongings seem to fall off the shelves. Um, but we have seen dramatic images start to come in. Uh, this all happening uh, within the last hour, Marla, reports of a, a tsunami wave that could reach about 10 feet uh, potentially moving in the region as well. Thankfully for us here, there's no danger for California, no tsunami expected here, but we are uh, thinking about and praying for the folks in that region tonight. Yeah, so you mentioned the threat of a tsunami of up to three meters, which to Alex's point is almost 10 feet. This is for the southern Japanese island group of Okinawa, as we're now looking at this map, just to give you better perspective. So again, this striking not long ago magnitude 7.5 we live in earthquake country we've dealt with them here uh, in Los Angeles in California up and down California so we know how significant a 7.5 is when you hear of collapse buildings uh, and mudslides landslides as a result of this you can only imagine what they are dealing with now this uh, the quake struck at 758 a.m. and here's a look at some more video coming into the newsroom you see the dust there the person uh, and this building here is off its foundation uh, and and is basically on its side yep uh, which is scary we do not see in that video the building collapse itself um, but we do know from witnesses telling news agencies in the area that there are some buildings that have collapsed and uh, with it you can only presume that there are going to be injuries and deaths um, when you have a collapsed building, uh, which is obviously a very, very scary thing. And the other thing, um, you think about the time, as you just mentioned, uh, the fact that there are probably people asleep um, still or getting up for the day. Or in uh, office in, buildings. In or in office buildings as well. 7.58 a.m. Um, you know, so a combination of all of those things uh, could be impacted at that time in the morning. Um, and uh, mm. you also think about the damage from a tsunami wave. As we pointed out in the last hour, you know, this tsunami wave is potentially 10 feet. The one that hit Fukushima was 130 feet, which is obviously one of the most dramatic uh, tsunamis that we've seen in our lifetime. Um, but this is going to cause significant damage in the region. So uh, our colleague, uh, Christy Fajardo, she is actually in Japan. She's on vacation, mm. a family vacation, and she has contacted us to let us know that she didn't feel it, but she has heard about evacuations uh, in Taiwan. So uh, she would be a good resource for us to lean on right now. We appreciate her taking the time out of her vacation because obviously this is going to disrupt her yeah. there. Uh, even even if she didn't feel it. And we know in, in certain areas um, that there have been uh, sirens uh, warning folks um, uh, to head to higher ground um, in some of the areas that would be most prone uh, to a tsunami. Um, we have those sirens here in Southern California, places mm -hmm. like Marina del Rey that are uh, under sea level, uh, where there actually are signs that warn you of where to go in case there were a tsunami that was hitting us. Again, that's not coming to us, uh, but that, that is not a sound you want to hear if you're living in those areas. Um, and so folks heading for higher ground in, in that area right now. Well, obviously, if you uh, have any uh, connection to this area and know of somebody in distress, uh, can you can get that information to us. You can find us uh, on all socials. Our station handle is at Fox uh, 11 Los Angeles on Twitter. Please send us some information as we are working to gather more information and videos into our newsroom. So again, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck at 7.58 a.m. So that would be Wednesday morning off the coast of Taiwan. And just to be clear, our, our Twitter handle is Fox LA. Uh, so if people are contacting us there, um, also uh, 
FoxLA.com. Uh, we just got word that uh, Lucy Jones, um, who is, of course, the earthquake expert in Southern California, uh, is going to be joining us at 6.30 to provide some more perspective on all of this as well. So um, obviously this is a huge deal, and we're going to continue to gather information on it, gather video on it, um, and go back to it throughout our newscasts.